You are watching YETicket.com with Al McGee. Movie reviews and interviews. This is YETicket.com. YETicket.com. Your entertainment ticket. We are your entertainment ticket. That's right. YETicket.com. We are your entertainment ticket. That's right. YETicket.com. There is a calamity coming. It will affect us all, gods and men. The humans may have stopped praying to us, but there are consequences. Without prayer, we gods lose our power. When our power leaves us, all our work comes undone. The walls of Tartarus are falling. It is emptying all those demons onto the earth. If our power diminishes much further, we gods will become mortal. We will die, and Cronus himself will escape. It will mean chaos. The end of the world. What am I meant to do? I know your heart better than you know it yourself. You believe your human half makes you unworthy to join us. You will learn someday that being half human makes you stronger than a god, not weaker. Hey, this is Al McGee with your entertainment ticket. Get us at www.yetickets.com. I'm a critic and I love my job. Wrath of the Titans. Yeah, this is the sequel to Clash of the Titans, which came out two years ago. Well, if you saw the first one, a lot of people didn't like it, but I enjoyed the first one, Clash. Wrath of the Titans? Well, let me tell you about it a little bit. It's set 10 years after the first one, but... Two years movie time, you know that, right? Uh, Perseus, which is played by Sam Worthington, he is the son of Zeus, but you know Zeus raped his mother. Wow, God's raping your mom and birthing people. Anyway, uh, he, he has a son now, and they, all he wants to do is fish, raise his son, and have a great normal life, even though he's a demigod, a half a god. But what happens during, our, during that time, the Titans are getting stronger. So his uncle, who is Hades, which is played by Ralph Fiennes, uh, tricks his father, Zeus, you know, it's played by Liam Neeson, into coming down to hell, Hades. Yeah, well, we've all been there, I'm sure. But Ares, which is... Uh, Perseus' half-brother, which is Zeus' other son, hates Zeus. So he and Hades trick Zeus to go to hell. And then Hades and Zeus's father wants to come back alive and destroy the humans and destroy his son, Zeus, to be the greatest of them all. Everybody back! <coughs> you betrayed our father. He betrayed me by choosing you. <laughs> Yeah! Yeah! Oh! 
We are brothers, but not equal. Also in here, you got to re realize, too, that their father, Perseus' grandfather, now he's locked up in hell or Hades, and he wants to escape. But he has to drain Zeus of all his power and takes his power to become great again, but destroy the humans along the way. <laughs> Didn't that plot just really surprise you? Wasn't that exciting? Your grandfather wants to kill you and everyone else, and your dad loses all his power? And, and another reason, too, they lose their power, the human beings, they stop praying in them, stop believing in them, and so they becoming more and more like humans or disappearing or dying out. Kind of remind me of Tinkerbell, right? Remember in Tinkerbell, you got to clap in the theater to make Tinkerbell come back alive. You got to say, I got to believe in Tinkerbell. <laughs> that's what that reminded me of. But anyway, Perseus, of course, he goes and saves the world again. and But with the help of his uncle and his father, whom they have to fight against, their father, Perseus' grandfather. One thing I liked about the Wrath of the Titans, even though this script, which was written by Don Menzizu and David Johnson, uh, I didn't care about that. Now, the director is uh, Louis Letterier, but he's Jonathan Liebson now. And he directed the Texas Chainsaw Massacre at the beginning and Battle Los Angeles. I saw both these films. They were okay. But one thing I like about this film, this film is really kind of extraordinary. It's, it's very exciting. There were some nice monsters in here, you know, fire and things like that. And it shows the power of the human being, how hope is very important. And it's in 3D. I thought the 3D in this was very good. It looked very exceptional to me, especially with the camera angles and the camera scenes, the way they shot it. I really enjoyed it. I got excited about it. And this film was only 99 minutes long, but it seemed longer because of all the action in it and everything that happened. I mean, it was action, 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 one step after the other. It didn't, it didn't drag at all. I like the scope of this film. I, I enjoyed the script. I enjoyed the action. I enjoyed the action. I mean, here, gods are walking among you. Gods are trying to save you. Gods are trying to save the human race. What other good story can you have better than that? Huh? Catholic priests and altar boys? Well, I'm giving this three palm trees out of four, The Wrath of the Titans. This is a very good film. I totally enjoy this film. I like Sam Worthen in this. I like Liam Neeson in this. I like Ralph Fiennes in this. And also, beautiful Rosamund Pike playing the queen, fighting in a skirt with a sword. You got to check that out. Wrath of the Titans, Three Palm Trees from Al McGee. Keep watching us every day and the day after. I'm a movie critic, and I love my job. Come and get me!